Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is scheduled to testify tomorrow before the Senate Intelligence Committee. The subject, needless to say, is Russia. That's pretty much the only thing Washington can talk about or respond to at the moment. Sessions may strike you as an unlikely Putin conspirator, having spent virtually all of his 70 years living in or representing Alabama. That's an awfully long way from Moscow in every sense. Doesn't matter. Everyone affiliated with the administration is a potential suspect these days. Sessions says that as a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, he talked on two separate occasions with the Russian ambassador to the United States. And that's it. That's the total known extent of his contact with the Russian government. But it's enough. According to top Democrats, Sessions must resign immediately. On March 2nd, I said, Attorney General Sessions should not be in that job and he should resign. So that's what, three months ago, more than three months ago. So that's my position on him. I don't even know why he is still Attorney General. He lied before Congress in order to get confirmed. That's a perjury charge. He also lied on his security clearance forms about his Russian meetings. Those are false official statements. He should have resigned months ago. For the good of the country, Attorney General Sessions should resign. We've been covering the Russia story most nights on the show for the past seven months. And over that time, we've noticed a theme. Almost all the claims you hear about Russia are general rather than specific. Russia hacked our election. We hear that line almost every day. Okay, we're open-minded. How exactly did Russia hack our election? Well, comes the answer, they just did. All 17 intelligence agencies say they did. Russia undermined our democracy. Okay, but can you be more specific? It's a pretty serious charge, and it might be nice to have some details. They can't provide those details, or they won't. And if you keep pressing for details, they'll attack you personally, as we found out, when Adam Schiff, the ranking Democrat on the House Intel Committee, accused me of, quote, carrying water for Putin when I asked him to back up his claims. Character assassination is always easier than making a sensible argument. Which brings us back to Jeff Sessions and Russia. Those two meetings with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, those have changed the course of recent history. No exaggeration. Sessions was forced to recuse himself from a major Justice Department investigation into Russia and then fend off insinuations that he somehow committed treason because of those meetings. So what were the meetings about? What were they like? Well, since nobody accusing Sessions of wrongdoing seems to know or care, we decided to find out ourselves. So over the weekend, we tracked down an eyewitness to one of those meetings. It took place at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland the first week of July last summer. It was an event called Global Partners in Democracy. It turned out to be a not very scintillating gathering that staged every four years and has been for decades on behalf of scores of foreign diplomats who want to see how American politics works. So Sessions gave a speech, and as he left the stage, about 15 ambassadors walked up to say hi to him. Kislyak was among them. That was the total extent of the meeting right there. Sessions and Kislyak never broke away from the group to talk privately. They never exchanged cash or microfilm or secret messages. We know this from the person we talked to, who was just a few feet away when it happened, but also because that room was filled with more than 100 other witnesses. That includes agents from American diplomatic security in Washington and a number of Obama political appointees from the State Department. They're all standing around as this secret meeting took place. It was a total nothing burger, quote, says the person who saw it, who, by the way, has never worked for Sessions, doesn't even really know him. Quote, I was shocked by how it has been distorted. Well, if you're shocked, you haven't been paying attention. This kind of thing is happening all over Washington right now. Guilt by association, attack by innuendo, classic witch hunt stuff. You ought to be worried about it, too, because if Jess Sessions can be denounced as a Russian spy, anyone can be.